Hey, what's up guys? So walking is quite essential in a lot of indie games and having the sound to accompany these steps is also very crucial. So as you can see here, we are walking through the desert and now we are walking through the uh, water and to the grass but there is basically no sound indicating us that we are changing terrains or we are walking actually. Alright, so let's fix that. So here we are, but now as you can hopefully hear we have different sounds based on the surface that we are in. Alright, so it's not just the sound but also the frequency of the sound. So let's take a look at the scene setup real quick. So as you can see here we've got three basic terrains, so the desert, the water and then the grass terrain. Each one has a box collider with the E trigger set to true and if you're wondering how I'm actually working if the box collider is triggered, uh, that just I have an invisible square that defines the ground basically. So in your case, all that matters is to have some kind of bounding box telling the player on which terrain it is. So as you can see here we have the ground manager, here we can change the surface type or the ground type. All right. This one, for instance, is water, I put it as water. This one is desert, I put it as desert. And this you can also change to accommodate other kinds of grounds. Uh, we'll see that in a few. Apart from that, we have a footstep manager. Uh, this footstep manager is basically a library of all the sounds that we've got. So I found this uh, really cool asset that provides you with a lot of different footstep sounds. Uh, do check the description box, you'll have it there. So as you can see here, we did add a lot of grass walking sound, water walking sound, as well as desert walking sound for the sand basically. And then on each type, we also have a value set uh, between 0.01 to 0.3 and for the case of the water, it's basically zero. This value is used uh, randomly okay it's selected randomly to indicate to the algorithm how long should we wait before consecutive sounds are played so for water it should be instant but then you can also change it uh, as you want and then here we have also the allowed ground type so you could have multiple ones the system will automatically handle it and then apart from that we just have the player script with the working manager and here we just link to the actual audio source playing it as well as a variable called current environment that changes automatically as well as it is working variable. So here is the footstep manager. As you can see we've got a singleton pattern to call the footstep manager from other script and then we've got a basic list that stores all of the different types of sounds and where we can apply them. And we've got a basic method called get random walk, which takes in the parameter of type ground type. As you can see here, we can modify this with more types if you want. But for now, we've got the desert, water, grass, dirt, and others. So this allows us to indicate on which kind of surface we are on. And if we take a look at the actual env2 sound class, we'll notice that we have the ground type as seen before, which is a list, so we can have multiple grounds. We've also got the list of audio clips, as well as a range for how long we should wait between each sound. And then we also have the audio clip, sorry, a function that returns an audio clip, which is called getRandom. This just basically takes a random audio clip from the list and then returns that and we also have a get random wait time which again takes the minimum and maximum so the x and y and then just generates a random waiting time and returns it moving on to the next script which is the working manager so here as you can see i've concatenated it a little bit basically all of the uh, three dots represents your working script so this would be handled as usual the only difference that you'll have to add is these variables the, the current environment a field for the audio source 
to play the walking sound, as well as a variable called is walking. On voice start, we run this coroutine, which basically loops continuously, and then we wait for is walking to be true. All right. Once it's set to true, we get a random sound for the current environment, and then we get a random wait time. We store it. Also, we play the random audio clip from that environment, and then we wait for the effect to have. Sorry, we wait for the audio to be completed, and then we just wait for the wait time to end. So as you can see here, it's quite simple. In uh, in simple terms, we just take a random clip, we just get a random wait time, we play the clip, we wait for the clip to end, and then we just wait for this wait time before checking if we are still working or not. And if we are, we just rinse and repeat. And for this use case, the way that I'm detecting if we are working or not is basically to check whether or not horizontal input or vertical input is not zero but you can replace this with your own implementation if you have one. Another common way would be to perhaps, if you've got a rigid body, you could just call the rigid body dot velocity, I believe. If that does not equal to zero, it means that you are moving. And then for the final script, which is the ground manager, this one is very simple. It contains only one variable called ground type. So basically this allows you to set which kind of ground surface this current environment is and then avoid on trigger enter which checks whether or not it's it's being triggered by a working manager aka your player and if it is we just replace whichever current environment we were in by the current one so if you followed everything carefully you should be having something like this as you can see, the footsteps is actually quite different, the frequency and the actual sound. And it's also responsive based on the current environment. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if not already, and don't forget to comment down below any suggestions that you have, or perhaps any topics that you want me to cover next. On this note, don't forget to sub to watch my previous videos and then this asset will be available on the Unity Asset Store for you to download. So yeah, so on this note, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!